Hey team and welcome to this teaching session on freckle education. The purpose of this video is to walk you through the introductory steps of how to get used to this program for the very first time. Uh, here in Clever, uh, we have a freckle button and freckle used to be called front row. So if your teacher ever says front row, uh, it's because your teacher used to use the program when it was called front row. So when you get into Clever, you're looking for the pink pig and it's actually going to say freckle instead of front row under the pink pig. Once you get in, listen to your teacher's leadership. Uh, it will be your entire first name. So if you were born with the name Matthew, but everyone calls you Matt, your first name will be Matthew in this box. Likewise, if your given name is Madeline, but everyone calls you Maddie, you're going to type in your whole first name in this first box. For your last name, listen to your teacher's leadership. Your teacher will either say to type your whole last name or just the very first letter of your last name. If you have more than one part to your last name, like De La Cruz or uh, Gonzalez Villanueva, uh, if there is a space at all, you're going to need an underscore. So just raise your hand when you get to that point, reach out, ask for help, and I'll walk around and help you. For the class code, your teacher has a very specific class code for you. And at just the right time, I'll put that on the board for you. And then you're going to click the blue button that says continue. If you are in second grade or first grade, your screen is going to look like this. And you are going to click math, and then you're going to click the car where it says math practice. If you are in grades three and above, your introductory screen will look like this. And for our first few sessions, I always take the students into math practice. So you will choose the math practice button right there. Once everyone chooses math, depending on whatever grade you're in, you're going to land at a screen that looks similar to this. And on the top left, you'll see my orange arrow pointing to that first math practice area. And at the very top of that box, there is a red flag. Team, say red flag. It is your job to go through each of these learning spaces and change out those gray circles for numbers. So step one is you're gonna click on the learning area that has the red flag. It's going to ask, are you ready for the pretest? And your answer is yes, please. Team, say yes, please. Once you get into the very first question, depending on your age level, um, you're going to have a question that's specific to your ability. Now, all the other parts on the screen are going to be the same. You have a pencil on the top left, you have an eraser, you have a trash can, you have the circle, you have the YouTube button. I'm going to talk about those in my teaching session. Along the bottom where it says triangles, squares, circles, this is letting you know that this is a multiple choice question and you need to choose one correct answer for this question. So let me explain those buttons on the left. On the left, you have a pencil. It comes in multiple colors. Each time you click on that pencil, the color of that pencil will change. So red, pink, green, blue, lots of colors to choose from. Now, why is that important? If you are writing out your math thoughts over here in the thinking area, maybe you want different colors to represent your thoughts and your ideas. Maybe you're decomposing a number or you're designing a bar graph and you want those numbers or those ideas to show up in different colors. Well, you have the power to do that. Over on the left, you'll see the eraser. It sort of has that thin yellow border around it. If you ever have a small mistake to erase in your thinking area, use the eraser. Underneath the eraser is the trash can. If you want to erase all of your thinking in the thinking area, choose the trash can. The circle right here will bring down a curtain containing all kinds of math tools that are available for you. You'll notice on the right hand side over here that you have a variety of math tools to choose from. Each time you click on one of those items, they will appear so that you can move them around and utilize them in your thinking. You'll see here on the right hand side how we have pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters. You can move those wherever you want to. You can use the eraser to erase any of those or 
the trash can to get rid of all of them. I highly recommend these tools. It will definitely shape and impact your learning. Over here on the bottom left, there is a speaker button. Uh, if you are new to the English language or if you have a younger brother or sister um, and they would like any of this content read out loud to them, the speaker button will read those questions out loud to them. At the very bottom of the screen team in that long white rectangle, it says type your answer here. If the question ever says type your answer here, you're going to click one time in that box. You're going to type only the numbers that represent the answer and then press enter on your um, keyboard. For example, if the answer is 18 dogs, you would not type in 18 D-O-G-S. It would just be the number 18 and then press enter on your keyboard. You'll notice these raspberry colored arrows. One says select all that apply and one says submit. When you are in the second grade, you are introduced to this idea that there's more than one answer. Sixth grade, fifth grade, this is very familiar to you. So for any of my fifth and sixth graders who think that this has sort of this kid-ish feel to it, I just want you to know that the content within this program goes all the way up to the 12th grade. So you're definitely going to get challenged in this program. Uh, the visuals that you see on the screen right here are quite simple, um, but please just bear with the simplicity of the illustrations. The material is very complex. To my second graders, you have never seen the idea that you're supposed to select all that apply. So this is a new concept to you. For the very first time ever, you are seeing that there is more than one correct answer. You'll see the two raspberry colored arrows on the screen. One says select all that apply and the other one is showing you that you need to click on the submit button after you have chosen all the correct answers. The YouTube video is on display over here on the left and no you aren't going to see motocross fashion or hairstyle videos. The only videos you have access to are ones that teach you how to solve math ideas, specifically the math idea that is on the screen in front of you. Now the YouTube video button will only appear when you are practicing. It will not appear during the pretest. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in just a minute. In your first session uh, here in Freckle, I'm going to ask that you avoid the uh, piggy store button, please and thank you. We need to get through some of those pretests. So if the when if you see this pop up that says you can now go to the piggy store, you are going to choose the skip button for today. You can do that later, however. During our first uh, testing session, I will ask that only your answers show up on your computer. I don't want you leaning over and solving questions for your neighbor. Your neighbor is going to have to struggle through any questions that he or she does not understand. Team, some of those questions will be too hard. If you come to a question that's too hard, just go ahead and guess so you can move on to another question. When you arrive at this math path where you can go down a really long math journey, I ask that you choose the back button. See above the pig on the left how there's the back button? You're going to choose the back button until you've gotten all of those gray circles changed out to numbers. So on this screen right here, it shows you what it looks like when you click on the back button. You're going to head back to this space where we've been before and then find the next gray circle, please, and then take that next pretest. And then repeat that process over and over again until all of those gray circles have been changed out to numbers. Here we are at the Math Fact Practice screen. Freckle only lets you go into the Math Fact Practice area twice each day. They don't want you to earn 60,000 coins just doing flashcards all day long. Once you have typed in the answer, to one flash card, please press enter on your keyboard. Move to the next question, type in the answer to that question, and then press enter. Please press enter after every flash card. This is what it looks like when you head to the piggy store. In the piggy store, you can upgrade your pig to a hippopotamus, a fox, or a penguin. Over on the right hand side of the screen, you can see all the different things that you can use to stylize your pig or your fox or your penguin or your hippopotamus. On the left side of the screen, you will see three things. There's a timer on the bottom, and then it shows you how many coins you have just above that. 
And then there's also the quit button. If you ever head into the piggy store and change your mind and say, oh, I don't want to be here right now, then you can always click the quit button to exit. So let me walk you through the process of what it looks like to use the YouTube videos. If you ever choose the YouTube video on the left hand side of your screen, this small box will pop up. When you click the play button, the video is going to play in that very small screen. I highly recommend that you click on the broken box right here where my arrow is pointing so that the video will fill your entire screen. Once you've watched the entire help video, then you're going to have to use the button on your keyboard. This button over here on the top on the left is called the escape button. ESC stands for escape. Go ahead and click the escape button one time so that you can return to the video. Once you've returned to the video, then you can click the continue button and then return to whatever question that you are working on. Now, one thing that I'd like to mention before I move on. Right here where you see the turquoise arrow, it's letting you know that there are three students in the classroom who know how to answer that question. So it's not their job to give you the answer, but they might have strategies to help you answer this question. So listen to your teacher's leadership and she or he will be able to let you know if you can ask someone in the classroom for help or not. If your teacher says yes, then you can utilize this strategy. So that's the end of my first video on introducing you to Freckle.